Yeah, I mean, I slept two, I sleep two sessions for an hour and a half a night. And then last night I actually slept like five hours straight and then two or three hours after that. But I'm off that medicine now, so hopefully the next few days I like start to sleep. That'd be cool. <laughs> Uh, I guess it could, I guess you could say it started uh, November uh, is when I started getting headaches. And then around Dave's contest, I actually missed the first day of practice because I woke up and had a gnarly headache. From there on, it just kept happening more frequently and just didn't really think anything of it because when I was younger, I used to get migraines a lot, my mom said, and I grew out of it, so I just thought they were coming back. So about six weeks ago, my vision started getting blurry when I rode and like, I could still like feel it the ramps and feel like I was riding, so I just blew it off. And then about a week after that, I started getting doubled vision and that couldn't even ride. I like, started going to the eye doctors and stuff like that and they, my eyes were fine. They said I just, we were riding one day because I could actually see. And uh, I'd been, I'd been doing flip whips a lot and then learned flare whips with Kelly in the foam. Felt really comfortable, tried one on my ramp and I just got, I went from a seven foot to foam and then tried one on the six foot and then just pulled back too hard, over rotated and landed and smacked my head and like landed on my entire side, elbowed myself and my gut bruised everything, couldn't walk the next day, went to the chiropractor and then um, just been had, had headaches for like four days straight, gnarly, it didn't go away. So I was like, I'm just gonna get an MRI, get it checked out. 45 minutes in the MRI thing, got out, went to the, see the doctor at the urgent care, he looked over him, and that's pretty much where he told me there was something in your head that shouldn't be there, and it's a brain tumor. Not sure if it's cancerous or benign, but uh, definitely needs to get checked out and taken out. I guess I uh, went to the neurologist, he wanted to explain everything and showed me everything. Then I uh, went to Duke and uh, met with one of the best neurosurgeons in the world apparently. He scheduled me for a week later to get surgery and I actually moved a guy that wasn't as bad so that way I could get in. And then got it taken out, found out it wasn't cancerous and been good, good now.
Pretty much have a huge list of people to thank, but I just gotta cut it down short, so this is the list I'm gonna run through. Um, wanna start with my girlfriend, Charlotte, uh, Dr. Friedman at Duke University, my mom, my dad, my brother, my stepmom, uh, my grandparents, Ryan Gutler, Daniel Dares, Dave Mayer, uh, Brandon Christie, Drew Buzanson, Kelly Bolton, Nick DiGiroloma, C.B. Coombs, Taylor Rorty. Trish Beargrounds, Jeff Suarez, Aaron Cook, and everybody at ARF, uh, Mark Losey and Gatorade, Lee Ramsdale, everybody at Eastern, Jerry Batters and Vans, uh, Bob and Kevin at Staff BMX, uh, Burn, and then all my friends and family. And anyone who sent me get well messages or comments online, and anyone I'm forgetting, like you know you are, I appreciate it. Can't thank you guys enough. Thanks, and thanks to Vital for this video interview.